Hi, welcome back to SmartyR, and today we're going to look at how to fix it when your GPS signal is lost on your smart media system. So, this is what the problem looks like in this bottom corner. Look, it just freezes on the map. So, what I did, the first thing is, it doesn't say this on the process on the smart system, but I eject the smart card first. So, the SD card, and this is the right way to do it. Don't just yank it out, it does a lot of damage otherwise. So there you go, that's the SD card with all the important European map data safely ejected. And here is uh, something you'll need, which is a, a USB stick. I got mine five pounds from uh, at Argos, I believe it was. So now we can safely eject the SD card from the slot, like so. This is in the replacement armrest. I think there's a video on it in my library somewhere. So I turn off the ignition and take the key out. So this is the official Mercedes slash smart website on how to do the update. I'll put a link in the comments box below. Quite straightforward, but good for you to have just to refresh your memory before you do it, or even while you do it on your phone. So we'll need our USB stick and we'll need our laptop or computer. So I've already installed the software for the update. Um, I just wanted to show you sort of how simple it is. I use a MacBook. Um, you can do it on a Windows device as well. And it's literally a case of finding your USB stick. So on a Mac it's on Finder. It's on the bottom left look under no name. So open that. And I've put the downloaded piece of software on the desktop, just drag and drop it in there. And pretty much you can see it just installs onto the USB drive. And that's it. So just like the SD card, you should always safely eject your hardware because it can damage the software as well. And you don't want to do that because you just wasted a load of time otherwise. So safely remove your USB stick and then take it to the car. So here in the car, uh, pop in your SD card with the European maps on, like so. And then the USB stick with the software update on in the USB slot, like so. And there it is, seeing the USB detected and shortly you should see a message yep there is again saying software update so just follow it follow the notes on the system on the screen yes you do want to go ahead and update it and I will warn you it takes about 12 to 15 minutes to install the software update um, you pretty much that's it you just pop it in and away you go and wait and this is what it sort of looks like now towards the end of the, uh, the installing of the update so it's effectively putting the updated software into the TomTom Tom system and then refreshing it so doing the old turning it off back on again but we're not doing that it's doing it itself which is good if you wouldn't mind uh, subscribing if not already done so or at least a like if you think this has been useful I really would appreciate it much longer left now so the screen does go blank and that's fine and you'll see your um, your media cluster by your speedo gauge also goes off as well so then turn it full two clicks to bring it all back to life and there it is on its way back so we're almost there now and it there's the time, so that's a good start. No no horrible four lines of death, which means your clock is all screwed up. And this will fix that as well, by the way. So if you don't have the time on yet, this update will also fix that. And there it is, writing the root instructions and updating the software. Simple as that. So click OK, and then I'll just show you what it looks like installed again 
where you have that right arrow at the bottom right which said GPS, no GPS before, we now have great success. And here you are in full screen mode. All that's left now is to remove the USB stick and a cup of tea time. Thanks for watching.